Hi, I wanted to go through this little kind of a trick question that I read in a book. Um, it's called How to Think Like Sherlock Holmes, and I ran across this question. And when I first um, read it, I got it wrong, and then I didn't understand why I got it wrong. Then I did some research, and I realized a lot of other people got the question wrong too. And some people insisted that the ball cost 10 cents. So I just wanted to go through this. If a ball and a bat cost $1.10 in total, and the bat is a dollar more than the ball, how much does the ball cost? Now, some people said, well, obviously the ball costs 10 cents because if the bat is a dollar, there's 10 cents left, so that's the cost of the ball because a dollar plus 10 cents is a dollar 10. And that isn't correct because it doesn't state if a ball and a bat cost a dollar ten in total and the bat is a dollar if you caught if you got rid of the more and it just said and the bat is a dollar how much would the ball cost because then we're told exactly how much the bat is the bat's a dollar okay well if the bat's a dollar and how much does the ball cost? Well, obviously it's going to cost 10 cents because the total has to be $1.10. But we're not told that the bat is a dollar. We're not told how much the bat. All we know is the bat is a dollar more than the ball. So we have to know how much the ball costs. Now we know it's a dollar plus change. That's what it means. A dollar more, a dollar plus change. How much change? All we know is that the two things have to equal a dollar ten. Okay? It has to equal a dollar ten. Now if we did it this way and said, okay, no, I, I insist that the ball is ten cents. Now see if it works out. Okay. So if a ball and a bat cost a dollar ten in total and the bat is a dollar more than the ball. And the ball costs how much? Ten cents. Right, so the ball costs ten cents. Now, okay, the ball costs ten cents, and the bat is a dollar more than the ball. What's if you have ten cents? Let's say here's ten cents. What's it? You know, a dollar more. Add a dollar to that. That equals. Oops, I don't. A dollar ten, right? because we have to know what the ball is first before we can know how much the bat costs. So we're saying, okay, the, bat, the ball is 10 cents. Okay, so the ball is 10 cents. Let's put the ball in here. Okay, sorry, the ball's 10 cents. Well, the bat is a dollar more than the ball, so that means the bat has to be a dollar 10. I keep on putting two dots there, sorry. That means the total, does the total equal a dollar 10? Nope, the total equals a dollar 20. So the ball cannot be 10 cents. And then the question might be, well, well, how, well how do we know what it is then? How, how are we going to figure this out? Well, you can figure it out there's, um, through an algebra equation, or you can just figure it out by trial and error. We know that there's two sums. These two figures, they have to equal. These two amounts, I mean, have to equal a dollar ten. Now we know the bat is a dollar and something. Okay, let's say this is the bat. Okay, whatever. And this is the ball. I'll change it this time. Doesn't really matter which position they're in. We know that the bat is a dollar and something. And when, hmm. So okay, we know it's a dollar. So now what do we have left? Well. We have 10 cents left. Now how are we going to divide that 10 cents up? Well, you might say, well, I don't know. Maybe the ball costs 2 cents. Okay? So let's work that out. We know that there has to be two figures, two amounts, that equals 
dollar ten. We know that I'll put the bat here just so it's not in the ball. Okay. We know that the bat the bat is a dollar and change. And we and we were trying to figure out how much the ball costs. We don't know how much these cost yet. All we know is that the bat is a dollar and change. Hmm, how much does that ball cost? Well, we already figured out that it can't be ten cents. Because that means that the bat is a dollar ten. Because the bat has to be a dollar more than the ball. If the ball's ten cents, that means that the bat is a dollar ten, which means that would be a dollar twenty. So we have the dollar there, right? So now we have ten cents to work with. How are we going to divide it up? And we said, okay, oh, what the hell? Let's just say the ball's two cents. Well, why not? Let's just say it's two cents. Okay, so ball's two cents. Let's see if that works out. If the, do if the ball's two cents, the bat is a, do is, you know, is a dollar more than that. That would make this a dollar two. Um, how much would the total be? Would it be a dollar ten? Let's see. Nope. Be a dollar four. That doesn't equal a dollar ten. If you go through, again, if you look at the figures, the amounts, I mean, we have the bat and the ball. We know the bat is a dollar something. We don't know what this is. And we want to know what the ball is. We know the ball is change, right? So there's going to be something. Okay. The answer is five cents. And, P and some people are like, I don't know, how, do, how can it be five cents? If, if you go through trial and error, where you can do the algebra way, I'm not going to explain that, but you can, there's a lot of videos on the algebra way, but. That doesn't make sense. How can it be five cents? Let's figure it out. Let's say the ball is five cents, right? I'm writing as a decimal. And that means the bat is a dollar more than the ball. If the bat costs a dollar more than the ball and the ball is five cents, what's five cents and a dollar more? That's a dollar five. Kind of hard when the paper is dollar five. Let's put a dollar five here. What's a dollar five plus five cents equals a dollar and ten cents? So this is the answer. So it's important to look at the question. It's not really that difficult if you look at it because if a ball and a bat cost a dollar ten in total, and the bat is a dollar more than the ball. We don't know how much the bat costs. All we know is that the bat is a dollar more than the ball. So how much does the ball cost? Taking, in, taking into account that both, both have to equal a dollar ten in total. Right? If some people said, oh, it has ten cents. Well, if it was ten cents, a dollar more that case, because this guy is the, the ball, and this is the bat. If the ball is ten cents, and the bat is a dollar more than ten cents, that means the bat would be a dollar ten. A dollar ten plus ten cents is a dollar twenty, not a dollar ten. So it is the bat, the ball. It does cost five cents. Because what's a dollar more? If you add a dollar to five cents, what do you get? Because the bat is supposed to be a dollar more than the ball. A dollar more is a dollar five. So it's one dollar and five cents plus five cents equals a dollar ten.